Treasure of the Orchard Pirate Chapter 1 The Golden Discovery Max, a curious and adventurous boy, was enjoying a sunny afternoon in the orchard behind his house. The orchard, filled with rows of apple trees, had always been a place of endless exploration for Max. On this particular day, as he wandered beneath the shady canopy of leaves, something unusual caught his eye. Partially buried under an old tree, a glint of something shiny drew his attention. Intrigued, Max knelt down and began to brush away the dirt with his hands, revealing an old gold coin. His heart raced with excitement as he picked it up and examined it more closely. The coin was unlike anything Max had ever seen before. It was heavy and embossed with strange symbols and an intricate inscription around its edge. The letters were unfamiliar, yet they seemed to whisper secrets from a bygone era. Max knew this was no ordinary coin, it was a clue to something much greater. Eager to share his discovery, Max dashed back to the house to show his best friend, Pico, his vibrant and talkative parrot. Look what I found, Pico! Max exclaimed, holding the coin up to the sunlight. Pico squawked in delight, his eyes shining with interest as he pecked at the coin. The clever bird seemed to sense the significance of the find. Together, they examined the coin and deciphered the symbols, realizing it was a clue leading to a hidden treasure left by a legendary pirate. The excitement of the discovery was contagious, and Pico's enthusiastic squawks filled the air as they decided to follow the trail. With the coin as their guide, Max and Pico embarked on an unexpected adventure, ready to uncover the secrets and treasures that awaited them. Chapter 2 The Secret Hideout Max and Pico devoted countless hours to deciphering the cryptic symbols on the old gold coin. They pored over the mysterious markings, cross-referencing them with books from Max's small library and old maps he had found in his grandfather's attic. Pico, ever the inquisitive parrot, pecked at the pages and squawked encouragement as Max painstakingly pieced together the puzzle. After much effort and many late-night study sessions, they finally unraveled the code. The symbols revealed a set of coordinates pointing to a hidden location within the very orchard where Max had discovered the coin. With renewed enthusiasm, Max and Pico set out into the orchard, meticulously searching every nook and cranny. They examined the base of each tree, looked behind every bush, and even dug around a few suspicious spots. Just when they were about to lose hope, Max noticed something peculiar about an especially ancient apple tree. The ground beneath it seemed slightly elevated, and the bark bore faint, weathered carvings that matched the symbols on the coin. Max's heart pounded with excitement as he knelt down and brushed away the loose soil. To his amazement, he uncovered a hidden trapdoor, cleverly concealed by roots and fallen leaves. With Pico perched on his shoulder, eagerly watching, Max pried open the heavy door, revealing a dark, narrow tunnel descending into the earth. Undeterred by the enveloping darkness and driven by a sense of adventure, Max took a deep breath and entered the tunnel, Pico fluttering in after him. The tunnel walls were damp and cold, but Max's determination didn't waver. Step by step, they moved forward, eager to discover where this secret passage would lead and what treasures or mysteries lay ahead in this thrilling underground journey. Chapter 3 The Pirate's Puzzles Inside the dark, narrow tunnel, 
Max and Pico encountered a series of intricate puzzles that guarded the pirates' long-forgotten hideout. The air was thick with mystery and anticipation as they ventured deeper, their path illuminated by a faint glow from the bioluminescent fungi clinging to the damp walls. The first puzzle they faced was a complex code etched into a stone tablet. The symbols resembled those on the coin but were arranged in a more convoluted pattern. Max, with Pico perched attentively on his shoulder, carefully studied the code. He realized it was a substitution cipher and began to decode it, letter by letter. Pico's keen eyes spotted patterns that Max had overlooked, and together they cracked the message, revealing a clue to proceed further. Next, they encountered an elaborate mechanism, a lock with multiple interlocking gears. Max's mechanical aptitude came in handy as he examined the gears, trying to discern the correct sequence to unlock the device. Pico, ever the curious companion, pecked at the gears, inadvertently pointing out a hidden lever. With Pico's assistance, Max manipulated the gears and unlocked the mechanism, allowing them to continue their journey. The third puzzle was a riddle carved into the wall, requiring lateral thinking to solve. Max read it aloud, and Pico squawked as if encouraging him to think outside the box. After several attempts and much contemplation, Max had an epiphany and solved the riddle, revealing a hidden passage. Each puzzle tested their wit and patience, demanding cooperation and perseverance. Finally, after solving the last intricate challenge a series of pressure plates that needed to be activated in a specific order the heavy stone door before them creaked open with a resounding groan. The sound echoed through the tunnel, signaling their success. As the door swung open, Max and Pico were greeted by a breathtaking sight, the pirate's treasure chamber, glittering with gold coins, jewels, and ancient artifacts. Their hard work and determination had paid off, unveiling the legendary treasure that had been hidden away for centuries. Chapter 4 The Treasure and the Journal The treasure chamber was a sight to behold, with gold coins and sparkling jewels piled high in an enormous chest. Max's eyes widened in amazement as the golden light reflected off the walls, creating a dazzling display. Pico, equally enthralled, fluttered around the chamber, his excited squawks echoing off the stone walls. The treasure was a pirate's dream come true a vast collection of wealth accumulated over countless adventures on the high seas. As Max explored the chamber, his attention was drawn to something unusual among the gleaming treasures. It was an old, weathered journal, its leather cover cracked and faded with age. Intrigued, Max gently picked it up and opened it, revealing pages filled with handwritten notes and sketches. The journal was the work of the very pirate who had hidden the treasure. Reading through the journal, Max discovered thrilling tales of the pirate's adventures. The pirate had sailed across treacherous seas, discovered hidden islands, and encountered fierce storms and mythical creatures. Each entry was a vivid account of bravery, cunning, and the relentless pursuit of discovery. Max could almost hear the pirate's voice narrating the exploits, feel the salty breeze of the open ocean, and sense the danger lurking in every corner of the world. One particular entry caught Max's attention. It was a heartfelt message from the pirate, written to whoever found the treasure. The pirate encouraged the finder to continue exploring, to seek out new adventures, and to never lose the spirit of curiosity and wonder. It was a call to action, a challenge to live a life of bold exploration and discovery. Max realized that this treasure was more than just golden jewels, it was a legacy, 
a baton passed from one adventurer to another. With Pico by his side, Max felt a surge of excitement and determination. This was just the beginning of their journey. The world was full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered, and Max was ready to face them head on. Clutching the journal, Max knew that with the pirate's words as his guide and Pico as his faithful companion, they were destined for many more incredible adventures. The treasure chamber was the start of something extraordinary, and Max couldn't wait to see where their next discovery would lead them.